Answering questions at the end of a business meeting or presentation is something that a lot of my clients hate, and you might feel the same way. However, Q&A can also be a really useful tool to actually improve your presentations and your overall ability to communicate in the workplace. This is a pretty simple concept, but when someone asks you a question, most of the time it's because you didn't explain information clearly enough or maybe didn't include something that's important in that situation. When my clients and I practice their workplace presentations, we always do Q&A and I try to ask about anything that wasn't clear enough or should have been included in their presentation. After we're done, one of the most common pieces of feedback that I give people is to simply include the information from the Q&A in their actual presentation. This is what you should do with your own workplace meetings and presentations, especially the common presentations and meeting topics that you discuss very often. After giving a routine presentation at a weekly meeting, or maybe having a sales meeting with a new possible client, whatever your common situation is, keep track of all the questions that your audience asks you. Then after the meeting, make a quick note of what people asked and wanted more information about. Then the next time you're in that situation or discussing a similar topic, make sure you include that information in what you say. This might not be necessary 100% of the time. Sometimes people ask about things that aren't very important. However, in most scenarios, especially situations where multiple people have asked you the same or similar questions, it's probably something you should include more of and explain in more detail in your presentation. So I know that Q&A can be stressful, but try to see it as an opportunity to get some feedback about what your audience really wants to know, what you should include in your presentations, and what you maybe need to explain in a better way next time. Not only will this make Q&A a little bit less intimidating for you, it's also going to help you make your presentations better and better over time. So remember, Q&A, it's not just a situation where people are trying to confuse you or ask you the most difficult questions possible. It's an opportunity to get real world feedback on everything that you need to explain better. So another thing that will make your presentations even better is checking out my video series where I break down the four biggest English presentation mistakes and how to fix them. If you want to become a better, more confident presenter completely for free, then click the link below and check out that video series today.